Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The Big Brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said that she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> hmm. 
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel that she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah. But she's still out there, somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again, safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Activate flashlight. On the way.
I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the cannon. Hmm. I can try. Hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. doing what the fuck dude don't do that what's wrong stop messing with it man yeah you're right sorry little guy don't get eaten by eagles do eagles eat scorpions no idea <laughs> cool let's go I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Okay? Oh, look, look. Oh, man. I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah. And you scared it. I know. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy.
So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <sighs> there you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. Go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit. Dude. We could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. I hope the UFOs are listening. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. Down in 
Hep. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles. Morning, Sean. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Morning, guys. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just because I notice things doesn't mean I'm a stalker. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spent evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. What's up, Joanne? 
See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <sighs> I don't know. It's just... doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit, too. Compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick... I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah, let's do this. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. Maybe you should keep the same bottom, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. There you go. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Yo, can you turn that, that, um, spider thingy around? Sweet. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Watch this. Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. 
I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of a toilet last week. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. And her songs. And... Oh, dude. So good to have a home, again, <laughs> and a real bed. <laughs> Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <laughs> Must pay better than poetry.
Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Okay, you're on, Enano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes. Great, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That, that's it. That's... Your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Dude, you're a snowman. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <sighs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The second 
I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. Nope. That's if you go too ever. far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. You're warming up. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. You're way out there. And I know, what was that last clue? Dude, this is not that hard. I've hidden the item in a place that loves the sun. Getting warm? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Nope, as cold as ever. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Just grab it! You're here! Ah, uh, it's fun! You're warm! Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. 
We'll help her out with the groceries. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Watch out! <laughs> I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. This is such a weird fucking place. But that's what's cool about it. Going to that small town for supplies always bums me out. Reminds me of my hometown. Ah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> 
Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, oh, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. The people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. 
And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Um, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. You actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are and where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> You made it this far, going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This gonna last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Awesome. 
Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, they'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me, but try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. <sighs> Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. <laughs> all right. 
I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It was so good for Daniel to see you again. He needed that more than anything. Please don't give up on your freedom, okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love, Sean. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? <sighs> she was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Okay, dude, don't forget about David. <laughs> Sean. Hey, Aaron said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. Only gotta search between 140 and 160. Definitely not. Thanks, folks. But uh, back to our caller talking about climate. Hope. Mm. Doesn't sound like cops. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks. No. Wait, is this it? Sam's? <sighs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. 
That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. <laughs> they look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on, like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them, and we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way, and I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean. I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. 
that you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. <laughs> Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Did you guys ever go to Mexico together? We talked about going, but never did. He said growing up there was hard, but he loved it. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running, of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. I just want to get this shit over with. So we can start over, if we can. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. I don't know. Come. Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? 
Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. Oh, good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was <laughs> the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. Sean. Hey guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. <laughs> Thanks. But the sooner we cross the border, the better. No worries. No worries? Bullshit. That's all we're gonna do until you make it. We will. Thanks to you. And everyone here. You gave us a place to breathe. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Dan. Daniel, do you copy? Time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Anano. Come here. Mom. I. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're going to do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son.
Let's hit the road. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
but so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. here. I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico oh, going to be totally trash? Or I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. To uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it. <gasps> we fucked that shit up. Thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man. Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some choco crisp. It'll be Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Daniel! 
Shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Who are you? You're not border agents. Uh, we're citizens. <laughs> we serve our country. By shooting people! Better them than us. Yeah. Look, you just blew up that wall, so don't start acting all friendly. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal! Fuck's sake! What I say? Uh, okay. Uh, Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Sí.
si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. Daniel's almost done with the paperwork. Then... Thanks. I'll remember that. We're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. Saben cuánto tiempo... Nos van a dejar aquí. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad... Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. ¿Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí. Nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres. Para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse. Como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. 
You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. Now you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail, too. Loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay, let's move it. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood, but he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. No point in getting these off. They're I hope he's all right. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Um, I just want to know what happened. Of course not. <sighs> so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? No. Yeah. Shit. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. 
Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Mexico. He's out for the count. How the fuck did your criminals get out, huh? Maddie, don't. You think I killed him? No, no. He's okay. He'll just wake up with a nasty headache. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. What? Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well, what the fuck are you? Daniel. Can you open your cell? What if they... Attack us. They won't. Yes, yes. Trust me. All right. Step back. What are you doing? 
You're welcome. Why? What did you do that for? Because we're not assholes. Thank you. Yeah, don't make us regret this. Jeez, I really made a mess. What do we do Sorry. now? Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Stay here! Don't move! Don't shoot! Hands Until up! Do down. not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. I heard all that noise. They're not alone. Let me think. We're not cut Sean. out for this. What do I do? Quick! I gotta find something to stop them. The chair. I gotta get us. What the fuck? We will shoot if we need to. Understand? The muck, dude. Fuck! Don't do anything do stupid, something. kid! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! This is our last. Throw that locker. anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now, let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, but be quick. So dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country.
Sean, what are we going to do? You know that day in Seattle, the date Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I hope you'll be happy in Mexico. 